Your boards may require the removal or installation of more screws than what we are showing in this video. For some of our boards, we have already removed some of the screws. In this video, we will show how to replace the boards that are included in the Vizio board kit for the following model number. M650VSE. In this video, we will show how to replace the power supply board, the main board, the TCON board, and the LED driver board. This is a general video showing how to replace these boards on this specific TV. This is just a general video and will not apply to all TVs. Before starting the replacement process, it is recommended to take photos along the way so that you have something to reference for seeing what the parts look like originally in the TV along with all the connections. Be sure your TV is unplugged. I will start by removing the back cover of the TV so that I can access the boards. I will start by replacing the power supply board. The first thing I will do is disconnect all of the cables from the board. Next, I will remove the screws that hold the board to the TV panel. After I've removed the screws, I can lift the board from the panel. Then, I will take my replacement board, line it up correctly, and then screw it to the panel to secure it tightly. Then, I can reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the main board. Once again, I will disconnect all of the cables and then remove the board from the panel by unscrewing it. As you can see, we have a black plastic piece connected to the board itself. You may need to remove this piece from the board by removing a few screws. Then attach your replacement board to the panel with the screws and reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the TCON board. I will start by removing the metal shield that covers the board. Then I will disconnect all of the cables from the board.
I can lift the board from the panel. Then I will take my replacement board, line it up correctly, then I can reconnect all of the cables. Then I will reinstall the cover for the board using the screws to secure it to the panel. The next board I'm going to replace is the LED driver board. I will start by removing the metal shield that covers it. Then I will disconnect all of the cables from the board. When disconnecting the cables here at the bottom, be sure to be very careful as they are fragile. When I go to reinstall the LED driver board, it is almost impossible to reconnect all of these small ribbon cables. So I will need to remove this large metal plate and then connect the board cables. Then I will take my replacement board, line it up correctly, Then I can reconnect all of the cables.
Then I will reinstall the cover for the board using the screws to secure it to the panel. Be sure to reinstall the metal plate as well.